Hi and welcome to this super fast question about how to change gravity in Python for Gazebo. So this is a question answering so this is an answer um, answering this question about um, how to change gravity in Python. So what we are going to do is work on this answer and update it and do a like a more complete answer and an example basically so what this user is asking how to change gravity through python in gazebo so what i've done is i've started with a ros development studio and i've created this very simple very simple simulation where we have this blue box which has friction the same friction in x and y axis let's have a look so I have this simple box and here this is the model that we've spawned so it's a, a simple box of one kilogram of mass and it has friction of 0 0.1 so relatively small in both axes so it should work in the same way moving in x and y axis the friction i mean so what what have i done what what i've done is create this change gravity script in python which has essentially has a class that i've called gravity control and this gravity control, what it does is create some service proxy of these services. Unpause and pause physics and reset simulation. And then we do also a connection, a service proxy to gazebo set physics properties. So this is what makes the magic happen. So through this service, we can call uh, we can call it and change the physics of the world and these are the three services are used for um, pausing and unpausing the physics this is used to set the or change the physics so we pause it and then we change the physics and then we unpause it again and the reset simulation is used for each time we l run this script, it will reset the simulation. So you can do multiple tests. So we have, let's, let's have a look. So in this gravity control, we have this service proxies here. Always, we have to wait, especially for set physics service. And then what we do is init values. So this, this method here, what it does is we wait for the reset simulation, we reset the simulation, then we, we create all the variables needed to set the physics. So in this case, we are setting as the example that we have here. So the answer made by BT, it's it's more or less the same thing and what I've what we what I've done here is setting this and then I update gravity call so I run this which basically what it does is wait for pause physics when it's running then we pause the physics we then set the physics properties so we do a set physics properties request object and then what we do is here as as you can see self time step so here self time step we set we set all the variables that we used here so we have the time step here then we have the max update rate here then we have the gravity object here which is a vector 3 
and then we have the the ODE config, which are variables used for the physics engine, in this case ODE. Okay, and then we put all these values inside this set physics object that is of type set physics properties request. And this type of message, of server's message, I have it here copied. Basically, it's a cat of this service uh, message. And you can see what you need for the request. So these four va uh, variables. Yeah. So once we have it, so here we go. Then we print it just to see the, the gravity that it's OK. And then what we do is set physics. So set physics is here. So what, what it is, is an object is the service proxy to this service that is called gazebo set physics properties. So when we are here, we send this request, set physics request, and we in this moment is when we have already set up all the physics but because we pause the physics until we unpause it they won't take take any effect so basically this method does this and that's quite it then I have this change gravity which basically what it does is change the, the gravity object values and then update the gravity call so call this again and update yeah. So I've done um, here a simple, so here in the main I'm executing this, this method here, sequence, and sequence what it does is initialize the node, then we create this gravity control, so we reset the simulation, so there we go init values, so we reset the simulation and set the initial values. There we go. And then I set gravity value, it's just a, a quantity of force that will apply in the gravity. So it's just to have um, a value that I can reuse along all these this functions. And then what I do is change the gravity sequentially. So first we are going to change the gravity and put gravity in y-axis also. So we have always the gravity in the z-axis, so basically the normal gravity that we know. And then I've changed it so the gravity also has an, a y component. So I put it in negative value, so minus 1 for one second. Then we change it to 0, so we remove this y um, force then we change it to positive so in the the other direction then we put it zero again then we change it in the x axis again positive then we stop it again then we change it in the the opposite direction and then finally when we've stopped it then we change the gravity to positive so it goes upwards and then we put it again normal so what we'll see is that the this box will move based on those forces yeah and those changes so let's execute so i'm going to execute it there we go so first y then opposite direction, then x, then opposite direction, then up the gravity, and then down again. Perfect. And you can do as many changes as you want. So basically you could do that, you could make that this box fly around and you could move this box changing the gravity at will. So that's, that's quite it, actually. So if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and think of subscribing if you want to have or 
be notified about more videos about Ross and, and Gazebo. And that's quite it. Thank you very much and hope this answer was useful for anyone. And see you soon. Bye.